Hello, welcome to Genealogy Coffee Break, brought to you by us, the librarians at the Center for Jewish History. My name is Ty Marks, and I'm here with my colleagues to show you how to navigate the finding aids of the collections housed here at CJH. During today's episode, please feel free to send us questions in the comment section so that we can answer them live. If we do not get to your question, or if you are not watching live, you can email your questions to gi at cjh.org. If you know anyone who may be interested in watching this program, please share it with them. And you can access previous episodes of Genealogy Coffee Break by going to the video section of the Center for Jewish History's Facebook page. We also provide Zoom workshops for Jewish and non-Jewish community groups. Topics range from Jewish and non-Jewish genealogy research to preserving family documents and photos. If you or someone you know are interested in scheduling a Zoom workshop, please contact us at gi at cjh.org. We also offer one-on-one -on -one virtual meetings to assist with in-depth or complex genealogy and collections research questions. When you access finding aids to the collections housed at CJH, there are two main access points. One is through our online publicly accessible catalog, search.cjh.org, and the second is at archives.cjh.org. If you access uh, finding aids or collections material through our catalog, you'll go to search.cjh.org and type in the name of the collection or the collection uh, call number that you're interested in viewing. For today, our example will be the Molly Pecan papers. So you'll go ahead and type that into the search bar and click the magnifying glass. Um, if you come across an instance where you're not sure which, um, which item to click on or if it's not easy to determine which item you would like to click on, um, one trick is to go to the Tweak My Results field, scroll all the way to the bottom, go to Form Genre Term, and click Show More, and then click Finding Aids and that will weed out any extraneous material that isn't pertinent to what you're looking for. And then the item pops up within the first couple of results. So we'll go ahead and click on the collection, and that will open the catalog record for the collection. To skip down to the section uh, where the finding aid link is, you'll go to this menu on the left side of the page and click links. And that will eliminate any scrolling you would have to do to get to the bottom of the page. From there, you'll click on view at archives.cjh.org, and that will take you directly to the finding aid for the collection. If you're starting out at the archives.cjh.org website, you will um, start off on a page that looks like this and you can go ahead and type in the name of the collection that you're interested in, or you can type in the collection call number. From there, to narrow it down just to the collection, you will go to where it says search all record types. You'll click the drop down menu and click on limit to collections. However, if you're interested in collections that have digitized material, then you would click on limit to digital materials. For this example, we'll do limit to collections and then search. And then we'll click on the collection and that will open the finding aid. So there are a few different ways you can navigate the finding aid. Um, today, I'm going to discuss the three main ways to navigate the finding aid. And I actually find these three to be a little more user-friendly than some of the other methods you can use. So for the first that I'll recommend is going over to this menu on the right side of the page and you can type in keywords for specific items that you're looking for or specific type of material you're looking for. For this example we'll search plays 
and we'll click search. And that will bring up a list of the materials in the collection that are plays. Another way to go through the collection is to click print and that will generate a PDF version of the finding aid. Uh, if it takes a few moments, don't be alarmed. It just, um, sometimes because of the size of the finding aids or the conversion process, it can be a little slow. So just give it a few moments. Okay. And you will be able to open the finding aid PDF, however your computer allows you to do so. And your finding aid should look something like this. Um, it's very user friendly. You can scroll through the finding aid in its entirety, or you can click on the different sections in the table of contents and that will um, bring you straight to the section you'd like to look you'd like to look at. And this will give you the name of the item, the box number, the folder number, and a link to the digitized item. If you would like to see the digitized item, you can just click on that link and it will open it for you. And you'll land on a page that looks similar to this. Um, to navigate this material, you can click on the, num the page numbers here. You can click the back and forwards button to navigate from page to page. Um, it might be a little slow to load, so don't be alarmed if you don't see anything right away. You can also click this little box that has arrows pointing in four different corners to um, enlarge the image. And then if it's still not quite large enough, you can click this arrow here and that will make the item full screen. Uh, from there, you can use the plus or minus signs to zoom in and out of the image. You can use these arrows to rotate the image. And then if you would like to minimize the image, you can click this box here that says toggle full page and that will bring you back here. So the other way that you can navigate this collection is to click these arrows, which will, which function sort of like a drop down menu. And that will open the sections for the series or sub series. From there, you will be able to open specific folders to view that information. If you see this icon here that says view the folder, or something um, similar to that wording, you'll be able to click on that material and access the material digitally. And this takes us back to that page that I previously showed, which looks like this. Uh, so back to this page, um, if you're ever in a section where you're looking at a specific folder or you're looking at a specific series and you want to navigate back to the main finding aid page, you can go up to this bar here and click on the name of the collection. And that will start you back at this page. Um, some other quick tips about navigating archive space. So if you ever search for a collection um, using the call number and it doesn't come up right away, um, in this instance, we're just gonna pretend that the collection didn't come up within the first couple of results. Um, but if that is the case, then a way to, to work around that would be to put the collection call number into parentheses. and it should be the first collection to come up. That is it for uh, today's presentation. If you have any lingering questions, you can type them into the comment box below. Myself and my colleagues will stick around for a bit to answer any questions. If you come up with any questions later on, you can always email us at gi at cjh.org. If you are interested in email updates, you can open the tiny URL bit.ly forward slash 
cjhe-news to receive information about other programs and news from the Center for Jewish History. And if you are able, please consider making a small donation to the Center for Jewish History at cjh.org forward slash donate now. Any amount counts. These donations enable us to make free programs like Genealogy Coffee Break available to everyone. Take care and join us again next Tuesday at 3.30 p.m. for another Genealogy Coffee Break.